Okay, mayang hapon sa tanan, ninyo diha a. Uh, karon magkanta kita o ginaunhang kanta nato sa atong song service karong sa AY. I keep falling in love with him. Yan. Sina ay napakay starting na. I'm requesting everyone to sing. Falling in love with him over and over and over and over and over again. Falling in love with him over and over. Hello po. Sino na yung nasa ana natin? Group. Good afternoon everyone. Good afternoon po. So, this is the a white program for this Sabbath. Ang song leader natin ngayon is si Sister Apple. Ito po siya, Sister Apple Joy. Siya yung nag-lead ng dalawang song natin, which are I Keep Falling in Love, tsaka Fill It Up. Tsaka, uh, next is opening song uh, entitled As For Me and My House. Then opening prayer, 
by it will be offered to God by Sister Tess Martes Goyo, and after that we will have our memory verse by Bahay. So, oh, kung sino sino yan yung mga magkakasama sa Bahay, uh, mag anak kayo ng memory verse, share uh, only one memory verse. And uh, sa isang grupo, grupo sa isang bahay. Then next is the testimony. Testimonies, uh, it will be shared by Sister Anne and Sister Ruth Joy. After that, will be testimony. So, uh, sorry, intermission by Chok Chai. Pero, I think, nandito na ba sila? Chai. So if not, okay. So if uh, wala pa sila. So Team Dwell and Apple will give you a intermission song. Uh, oh, I sorry. So sa testimony natin after Sister Anne is intermission. And then papasok si Sister Ruth Joy. After ni Ate, Ate Joy is special song will be given to God by Goyo Kids, TJ and GK. After that, we will have or we will be hearing a lecture by Pastor Rolly. So my uh, Pastor Rolly will share his wisdom to us in this afternoon. Amen. Amen. And then, after Pastor Rolly will give his lecture, it will be followed by closing remarks by Elder Hill Goyo. So we will let our elder to give some uh, message or a short remarks for this program online or sa Zoom natin. Uh, after that, uh, closing song, we will serve the Lord. And then closing prayer by Elder uh, Body Tyrus. So our program will go on as what I have announced. Okay, for our opening song, let us sing As For Me and My House. Mm -hmm. I'm requesting everyone to sing. Instead in your way, give the praise if you serve 
has for me in my hands. We will serve the Lord. We will serve Him. We will serve Him. We will serve Him. For He is worthy. Serve Him. We will serve Him. We will serve Him, for He is worthy to this day. Tell me who we will serve, and that is the name we will serve. We will praise Him, serve us with Him in my heart. We will serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. Sister Tess. Sister Tess. Okay. Let us pray. Our most gracious and kind Heavenly Father, we are so grateful for your faithfulness and for your goodness and for your great love that bestowed to us each day. We thank you, dear Lord, for this privilege of having this worship in Zoom this morning and this afternoon. Thank, thank you, dear Lord, for the messages that we have heard from our Sabbath school and in our divine. And this afternoon, dear Lord, we are inviting the Holy Spirit to be with us in, our, in the midst of our worship so that we can comprehend and we can apply what we have heard today. And we are praying for all the participants. Please be with them, dear Lord, as they share that it will be a great help and a great guide in our daily endeavor, dear Lord. And also to Pastor Rolly, we thank you, oh Lord, that you send him in our uh in our acts family or as family. Thank you, dear Lord, that we will work together as a team for your ministry. Thank you, dear Lord, for hearing and answering our prayers. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. So next will be Memory Verse. Memory Verse by Baha. Okay, una daw si KG, uh, GK. 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 Bless it. Yes. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this daily bread and forgive us our debt are and as we forgive our debts. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the glory and the power. And the power. Amen. Matthew 6, verse 9. Sino next? Okay, kami ni Apple. Rinig niyo lang kami. Okay. Ruben. Ano ba 'yan? 1 2 3 go. 
James 1.22 But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. Saya sanat ku ya bud. Ready kan ah? Okay. Psalms 23:126. The Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in the green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me out of righteousness for His name's sake. Yet I walk through the valley of the shadows of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. The rod and the staff will comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me. Thou enters my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Okay, kami sunod. Um, well, okay lang ba? Kantahin namin yung verse namin. Sige. We will be singing 1 John 2, verses 5 to 17. Do not love the world. So we will give time to Pastor. Thank you, Ted. Enjoy. Thank you. Okay. Uh, can I share my screen? You can uh, stop sharing your screen, uh, Sister Jewel. So I can. Okay. How many members are in Angtong? How many members? I don't hear. 16. 16. There are. And uh, how many members are present now? One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven. Uploading the kid, Lodon. Is it half? Is it half? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, here, Liz, here, Pastor. Nine. Okay. Yeah. So how many? Some, some, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About half, right? So where is the rest of the? Okay, and they are here, Pastor. They are here. Okay, very good. Coming, lagging. Okay. Loading, Pastor. Nagbuffer. Loading, loading. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now I'd like to know with your number of membership. I'd like to know if you really want to expand your membership, your number. 
How many? How, how many? In one year, how many members would you like? How much person would you like to grow in your church? Thirty. <laughs> you mean double? Double. Yeah, double. <laughs> okay. How would you feel if you have a double membership by the end of the year? Amen. Amen. Like 16 becoming times 2, 30, 32, right? And the following year, we'll have double again. So like 30 becomes 60. Would it be okay? A big amen, Pastor. Okay. Amen. Now, do you want, do you really want that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, if you really want that, make it your goal and a dream. Would it be? Okay. Can it be your dream or a goal? You really want that membership into that big number? Double? Like each year it becomes double. Is it possible? You sure? Yes. Okay. Now, if it is your goal or your dream to double your membership, what I can share you this afternoon is way, some ways how we can double it. Okay, now this is a proven formula, but then it will not affect, it will not have an effect, it will not have any result if we do not follow the formula. Are we ready? Yes. Okay, now let us pray. Oh dear God, this is your work. We want to cooperate with you. I'm, I want to help the Angtong Church to grow. And not only the Anton Church, any church who is listening to this one will grow if they follow exactly what is suggested here. It's a proven, proven method already, oh Lord. May you help each one of us. And uh, they will, the, the viewers will see this one prayerfully and uh, take the suggestions by heart with you, oh Lord. Thank you for answering our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. What I will be sharing to you this afternoon is about total member involvement. Have you known about this one yet? Yes. Have you heard this one from anybody? Yes. Sure? Yes. Who gave you this lecture before? Jerry, um, missionary. Missionary. Uh, I hear that this one in from elders meeting. All right. Okay. If you have heard this one since when was that? Six months ago? A year ago? Six months ago. Okay. Now, did everybody hear this one? Okay, can I review a bit for those who have seen this already? Yes, Pastor. Look, this is about total member involvement. Uh, this will not make any result if we do not follow. The motto here is it's one, will reach one, lose none, disciple all. Can you promise next Sabbath you will invite at least one person? Yes? We can make this one interactive. If you want, then you can actually switch on your, uh, you can switch on your audio uh, so we can do it interactively and so you can see on your screen. Okay? Uh, let, let, let me show it to you here how I can uh, Can, wait, wait here. Okay. You can switch on your audio so that you can talk and interact with me. Okay. Now, the usual thing is like this. In a world of invitation, this is scientific, this is statistical. If you invite 10 people like this, if you really want to get one the next Saturday, it's a number game. Barna study shows that. Okay, other organizations show that. If you want to have one person next Sabbath, at least each one will bring next Sabbath. So you will have now, right now, eight of you 
you'll bring one and you become 16 next Sabbath. Actually, the statistic is like this. To get one, invite 10 people during the week. And when you invite 10 people, six will usually say, oh, okay, okay, uh, I will go, I will go, I will attend the meeting. Okay, so it's like this. So six will say, all right, I will attend and only three will come. Maybe they will come in a meeting like this, but only one will join you on that Sabbath. So it's usually one out of 10. If you're good at inviting, it may be one out of five. But usually the people that come to you at that time will be the ones close to you. If they are not close to you, they don't know you, they don't trust you, they don't believe you, they will not come to the meeting. It's really number game. So how to do that? Each one reads one, lose none, disciple all. Now I cannot do the job of each one in the church because it simply cannot be done. So each one will do, but the pastor, the elder cannot do it for everyone. So how is it done like this? I'll give you here, what is a total member involvement? A total member involvement is a full scale world church evangelistic trust that involves every member, every church, every administrative entity, every type of public outreach ministry, personal and institutional outreach. It means personal evangelism and even as a church or even bigger than that. So, this is from the text that we have this morning, remember? Matthew 28, 18 to 20 from ISV, which is the correct translation. Then Jesus approached them and told them all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Take note verse 19. That is the one that I preached at the hour of worship. Therefore, as you go, it means as you go in your daily occupation, it means as a teacher, as a homemaker, as a nanny, as a driver, as anybody, it is there that you make disciple or disciple all people in all nations, baptizing them, that is the part of disciple making, in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit, teaching them, that is another part of disciple making. There are two parts of disciple making, that is baptizing and teaching, to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you, each and everyone, every day, the very end of the age. Wonderful promise. You see that one? As I, told the, I taught this morning, I preached this morning. We are covered by God's, I should say, by, by God's promise if we do disciple making. Now, how do we exactly do that? I'll give you an example in here. Now, you invite them to your care group, for example. We do by care group. I am an NDRIEL uh, coordinator of the whole zone. NDR means uh, disciple, nurturing discipleship, a retention, IEL integrated evangelistic lifestyle. Now, in your IEL, you can start, it depends on the kind of care group that you have. Now, you can actually finish these 28 lessons in one quarter. So, two each week, or you can have Two, it's Sabbath. Or you can have one during Wednesday, another during Friday night, and another during Sabbath. The rest will just be a follow-up. You see, you can have two or three topics a week. And that is since there are 13 topics a week, I can shorten the 28 into 25 only. What is required in that is only the 13 baptismal questionnaires from the GC. So the rest of it is their only follow-up, as you can see. So with this sequence, it's easy actually to finish it in one quarter. And when you see the result, I tell you, when you see one soul being baptized, walking into the water, and coming out of it, being a new person, you will be so excited. And when you see change, life, you will be so excited. That's why... If it is your dream and you make it as a passion, it's not actually that hard. It's easy. What you need is only training and the practice of doing it. So 
total member involvement is like this. So what is our involvement? According to Gospel Worker, page 352, right, Mrs. White? The work of God in this earth can never be finished until the men and women comprising our church membership rally to the work and unite their efforts with those of ministers and church officers, okay? Who will rally together with the ministers and church officers? The church members, correct? It means even if you have the best pastor in the world, even if you have the best ministers, even if you have the best church officers, but if the members will not cooperate, rally together, we don't unite with the ministers and the church officers, nothing will happen. So this is the idea here. And so how it is to be done? How is it to be done? Okay, now for example, in Rwanda, in Rwanda, there's an evangelism explosion. In 2004, Pastor Mark Fenley, Mark Fenley preached in Kigali to a live audience of 30,000 and 10,000 were baptized. Can you imagine that? Look at the ratio here. 30,000 was being preached, 10,000 were baptized. How did it happen? Okay, look, if you see the map, Rwanda is just a small country in Africa, sandwiched between Congo, Burundi, Tanzania, and Uganda. So how was it done, actually? Why did it happen like that? Now, as you can see, from 10,000 souls baptized in 2004 to 100,000 baptized in 2016, it's amazing, right? There is even more than that lately in, 20, in last year, okay? So what was their secret? What do you think will be the secret, brothers and sisters? The secret is here. TMI, total member involvement, all right? Everyone will actually participate. Instead of focusing on one preaching site, example, Angtong only, or one area in Angtong only with one preacher, they plan for multiple sites with multiple preachers. In other words, it can be done in Angtong, it can be done in Singburi, it can be done in Kansanaburi and Supanburi at the same time. Okay? So multiple preachers by, by elders and by pastors. So I can preach in one side, another elders will preach in, in another area like that. Multiple at the same time. And can you imagine 2,027 volunteers joined with a total of 860 lay preachers? Can you imagine that? In other words, the numbers, the number of pastors was outnumbered. There are more lay preachers than pastors. Okay? So it means the preaching was not dependent on pastors alone. The pastors, they were to organize the event, to train, to mobilize, but there were more lay preachers who joined. So what happened? Churches across Rwanda hosted one or more preaching sites. Can we do that in Angtong? Singburi? So Panburi and uh, Kansanaburi, all right? It is up for us to plan. Now, number one, local church did a preparation. So there is 10 days of prayer. Prayer list, you know, list all the names of people to be included there in your listing. So make special contact each week, really call, not just invite by texting, really call. Brad, sis. Uh, we have a wonderful speaker this coming Wednesday evening. We will talk, he will talk about New Start. You know New Start? About nutrition, exercise. Can you come? Just like that example. And you edify the speaker. The speaker, oh, the speaker is an expert in, in health. And he's a doctor, for example. He's a doctor in, in integrative medicine. Oh, you will love this one. So just like that. We call it edification like John 3.30, when, when John said to Jesus, he must increase and I must decrease. We call it edification. You promote the speaker, okay? Again, calling 10 people, usually only one will show up. Maybe three will say, okay, so one is to 10. So you increase your number, then you get more likely to have at least one. So again, pray for opportunity to invite to a Bible study group or evangelistic meeting. And pray for them to accept Jesus as their personal savior. You see that? 
even prayer it starts with prayer without prayer nothing will happen and again they did bible studies personal one-on-one -on -one bible study or in a care group now i suggest care group because sometimes in a personal bible study not one not everyone is talented in a care group even if you are not talented in bible study the elder can help okay it is actually important for an elder to give bible study if you're an elder it means you know how to give bible study and i will train to give bible study if in case you need more training in giving bible study so if you do it by care group it's a lot easier rather than one-on-one -on -one only well i can do one-on-one -on -one, but if it is in a care group you know why it's very important because in a care group if they see that other people are listening and attending it gives more belief ah oh, they're listening it means this is important oh they believe also why not me something like that okay if this professional is attending a care group then why not me okay something like if this uh person influential person is attending a care group then why not me something like that they like to compare and it helps again another one not only bible studies visitation and invitation later on we will do some actual visitation and invitation nurturing nurturing is a part of the church like they are already a member of the church and again you nurture them teaching them how to do and you can have health and community events okay i want to know later on what do you have there and a literature distribution like at that time they use glow tracks now we can have our own in here in thailand we have several so that's the number one they did we call it preparation or grand work we call it grand work it means grand work preparation number two they did they have this average of 45 baptized per site. It means it's a goal. They have a goal per site. Because if you don't have a goal, in our language, you know, in our language, uh, let me uh, emphasize this. Uh, we will see it's other space. Do you know in our, in, in, our, in our Visayat language, if the goal is not met, we call it kuang, kuang goal, kulang ang goal. But it means something else in Visaya, kuang goal. Yeah. Right? <laughs> now, I don't mean that way. I got it from uh, if you do into literature ministry, they emphasize that one. Red, red, sis, did you meet the goal? And the leader would just say, Ah, I didn't meet the goal. Ah, oh, kuang goal. Okay. Now, I, I don't mean that one. I just mean that if we don't have a goal, nothing will happen because the goal will help us actually, you know, on track. So that's it. So they have actually a goal. If you want a goal in your church, how many in one quarter, how many souls to be baptized in one quarter, example. If you want to be double in one quarter, if your number is 16 and you want to become 32, then have that goal. And you can break down that goal into monthly or every Sabbath or even quarterly. So there is also what they call total church involvement. Now, Ted Wilson says, it is a year-round outreach approach, okay? Now, if we do this quarterly, it is a year-round outreach approach. And I believe quarterly is a lot faster than yearly. If it is quarterly cycle, we can reset every quarter with many different outreach activities. Not only, you know, uh, health. Actually, care group is the best one. And with everyone doing something for Jesus, public evangelism is only part of TMI. Uh, and public evangelism is only to actually like polish what is done by care group. So care group or personal evangelism should be done together. They go together with public evangelism. Public evangelism is a periodic public presentation resulting from the many personal and public outreach activities and the power of the Holy Spirit. It means what is lacking in personal or care group it is to be there supplemented in in public evangelism so if we do quarterly like care group like example uh 26 to 28 meetings in 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 a in a in a one quarter now it should end in public evangelism that is ideal for example now is july august september in September, there should be public evangelism, one by Angtong, one by Supanburi, one by Kansanaburi, and one by Singburi. That is the one. I can preach in any one of them, and the rest be preached by the elders simultaneously with these four 
it's a culmination of the care group and the personal evangelism and you will see the result brothers and sisters if we do exactly do that have that in our mind okay so how is to be done what's the method there's only one method that is always applicable at all times all right this is from ministry of healing page 140 do you know do you know this method who who knows this method who knows this method of of you know christ method who knows i like to, i like to see your hands do you know that method okay now that method uh called christ method in here says here it says christ method alone will give true success in reaching the people all right not my method not your method is only christ method how did he do the savior mingled with men as one who desired their good that is mingling as well as connection he showed i uh, desired their good okay uh, i have a uh, in here i can summarize that one later on but it's connection after that desired their good it seemed like uh let, let me see in here i forgot some c we call it c a christ method Mm, I need to see my Codigo here in my, uh, I should say, here. Okay? I, I call it connection. And then, desire a good concern. He showed his sympathy for them, that is compassion. Minister to their needs, that is care. And then you wonder confidence. And then bid them follow me, that is call. Six, I call it 6C. Six 6C, six C, right? not sexy six c okay uh you don't need to be sexy uh, when you do god's work you have six c's again connection concern compassion care confidence call although it's important to be beautiful and handsome because you know thai people they look at our face it's important to be present presentable but if you have six c's all right okay this connection concern compassion that's enough okay so how to do like this that first one is connection mingling that is very very important you know you cannot go from one c to the to the last one because it is like a ladder connection first if you're not connected to the person you're inviting ah uh, nothing will happen if you don't have concern to the person you're inviting nothing will happen you have compassion it's really about that care and then confidence if that person does not believe you did not have confidence in you you cannot easily call him so it goes through that process and it takes some time to practice that it takes some time to practice that okay let's go here so in total member involvement every part or gift or ministry matters example care group health teaching english as a second language or i call it teaching English through scripture matters. Everyone matters. Everything needs to be connected, okay? So every effort made, individual or corporate, needs to ultimately connect people with the source of all power and truth. In other words, evangelism is part of that process, not a stand-alone event. What I mean by that is if you have one event only there, only teaching English, and there is no public evangelism or there is no health or there's no other like feeding mana, you know. Some people have different needs or there's no music. Some people want music. So it should be varied together. Prayer, food banks, literature distribution, health seminars and other, they go together and other events are all part of the continuous process and proceeding and following an evangelistic series or other reaping events. Now my focus actually is on, on approaching the rich and the elite uh, i have that one but it, it is a very specialized kind but it's not part of this lecture so ultimately total member involvement is more than an event or a series of events it's a way of life it's a continuous according to mckay so in here total number of, of people baptized in rwanda in 2016 amazing 100,777. can you imagine how do you like that to see that one in in Angtong. Uh, how do you like that? We will turn Angtong upside down. We will turn Singburi upside down. Those in Supanburi will turn Supanburi upside down. I saw on the internet 
they have 100 in in Angtong. I think I I forgot. I think it's 800. Oh, no no no. About 200,000 plus population. Okay. Yes, 200,000. Almost 300,000. In Kansanaburi, about 800. The same as Supanburi. There are big ones. I forgot about Angtong, but it's bigger than Singburi. And so if we really want that, then we are passionate about that. There is, a, there is a way of doing it. We do together, not alone. Okay, in here, pastors must get involved. Not just total member involvement, total church involvement, total pastor involvement. And also here in, in your church, okay, you can have a total care group involvement also. Everyone must get involved. Everyone is a sower of the word. Every pastor, every teacher, every member is to participate in helping all to become ardent. You know, ardent, you know, like, like boiling students of the word. And then to share it. In other words, if we do not study God's word, nothing will happen. We really have to be like so hungry in studying God's word. Okay. So evangelism is the lifeblood of the church. All of us are to be involved in it. Without evangelism, hmm. If our program is only focused on inside, in reads only, only on Sabbath school, only on hour of worship, only on AY, but not outreach, uh, nothing much significant will happen. So it should be balanced. There is in reads, like what we're doing right now, and there should be outreach. So the salvation of sinners requires earnest personal labor. We are to bear to them the word of life, not to wait for them to come to us. Okay, uh, that part is not easy, right? Because of the rejection rate, right? We have to come to them. Oh, that I could speak words to men and women that would arouse them to diligent, to diligent action. The moments now granted to us are few. We are standing upon the very borders of the eternal world. We have no time to lose. Every moment is golden and altogether too precious to be devoted merely to self-serving. Who will see God earnestly and from him draw strength and grace to be his faithful workers in the missionary field? According to Mrs. White, Testimonies, Volume 9, page 116. All right? Now, in Matthew 9, 37 to 38, it says here, Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Okay? Let me ask you. Do you think in Angtong or in Singburi, in Sopanburi and in Kansanaburi, do you think the harvest is, you know, like ready already? Is it plentiful? What do you think? Huh? But then the text says, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Okay. Actually, even if there are only how many of us this time? Only six or eight? Even if there are eight of us and we'll bring each one the next Sabbath, eight will become, you know, times to become 16. And 16 times 2 will become 32. It's like network marketing, no? It's like networking is exactly the same. Who loves networking? Who loves networking? I like networking for Christ. Networking for money, do you like that? No. People like networking for money. It's okay if you want that as long as with a good purpose, okay? Actually, you're working. If you don't work, if, if you work for someone... Uh, you know, you're an employee. What I want here, networking for Christ, what I mean. If we network for money, which is good, networking for Christ is a lot better. Okay? So, it's, it's, so actually, discipleship is networking. Networking. You network people. And so in here, what I'm saying that one, because people are afraid of the word networking. Oh, pastor is doing networking. No, no, no. I'm networking for Christ. You don't know what I mean. I'm, I'm, you know, networking with the elite one by one. So this is what we do. Really, that method is Christ's method. What I mean, the church, I mean, the whole world is following that method. Okay, in here, truth, the harvest is guaranteed, plentiful, but the workers are few. That's a fact, correct? So ask the Lord to send workers into his harvest field. God is recruiting workers, okay? Uh, let us recruit more. But the word recruiting is a negative thing, you know? Actually, you just connect, inspire, 
connection is a lot better. So this is what we do as, as ministers of Christ. John 4, 35 to 38. Do you not say four months more and then the harvest? I tell you, Jesus said, open your eyes and look at the fields. They are ripe for harvest. Then you look around Angtong. You look around Singburi. You look around Supanburi and Kansanaburi. The harvest is actually ripe. Now, even now, the reaper draws his wages. Even now, he harvests the crop for eternal life so that the sower and the reaper may be glad together. Thus, the saying, one sows and another reaps. All right? It's true. For example, if, if the previous leadership or pastor was sowing, another one would reap. So I sent you to reap what you have not worked for. Others have done the work, the hard work, and you have reaped the benefits of the labor. So the same thing in Romans 12, 4 and 5, just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function. So in Christ, we who are many form one body and each member belongs to all the others. Now, what I mean by that, some are elders, right? Some are Sabbath school teachers. Some are AY leaders. Some are depending. And some are good singers. When we group together in a care group, we become more powerful, right? You don't need to be, oh, pastor, I am not like elder body. I'm not good at giving Bible study or giving sermon. My gift is singing. Do not worry. Just be in the care group. Invite only. Somebody else will give the Bible study. Yeah? Do it by care group. Ah, uh, pastor, I am good at uh, health, but not at, at singing. Don't worry. You must be good at praying. So that is the idea that we, as one body, help is other. Okay, so in this case, this is what happens now. Now, how is to be done? Okay, with different gifts, serving, teaching, encouraging, we need to help each other. You know that idea already. It's the same in Ephesians. I don't need to read that one. So not everyone is apostle, not everyone is a prophet, evangelist, pastor, teachers, not everyone is a care group leader. Some are members. So do not worry. What we need to do, we use these different gifts together to prepare members, build up the church and strengthen the church and unite and increase the knowledge of Christ and become mature in our understanding. And when we reflect the image of Christ, then there we see the result. So it's the same thing in 1 Corinthians 12, 4 to 6, different kinds of gifts. We don't need to mention because we know it already. So, what are we to do is we need to have this common good of the body of Christ. It means we need to be united. If we are not united, brothers and sisters, nothing will happen. Okay? It's not for self-gratification. The self the spiritual gift that we have is for the benefit of the body. Enlightening of the body, giving growth of the body, equipping the body, and and health and unity of the body. So you will see that in 1 Corinthians 12, 7 to 11. Okay? I don't need to read that one. You can read it by yourself online. Uh, my emphasis is on the unity with many parts as one body of Christ. You do not, in here, uh, like no Jews, no Greeks, no slaves. It means, what I, what, what I want to emphasize is, if your degree is two years, you do not feel insecure. Do not compare with those who have four years degree or we have masters. I don't care if some people have PhD or doctorate because each one is really different. You have something others people don't have. Correct? Yeah, agree on that? Yes? So you do not be insecure. If you say, this is my beauty, do not worry about if your beauty is, your face is somewhat like square and the other one is somewhat like elongated because there are really some people who like your beauty. And some people don't like the, the elongated one. The same thing with our, our talent. Some people like your talent. Some people don't like. So we need to group together. And uh, by then, we become united. Okay, as a body, one unit. That is the one that we know in 1 Corinthians 12, 14 to 26. Okay? Look, if one of the members of the body is hurting, like the foot is hurting the hand, or the ear, actually the whole church suffer. You know what I mean? If one elder is clashing with another elder, the whole church will be affected. You know what I mean? Okay? 
if one member is clashing with another officer, the whole church will be affected. And Satan will be happy with that one. It's important to really always be united. If there is one negative thing, that is enough to ruin the whole church. One negative idea only. One negative person only that will do, do, do like that will hurt. It will ruin the whole the unity of the church. That's why it's important to be always be on guard because our enemy is the devil. So that is the idea there. That is the idea. Always be united. Now let's go further. Okay? So in here, the weaker one should be you know, strengthen. And the, the, the strong one should strengthen the weak ones. No division of the body. We are to be one. Okay? You might say, Pastor, how can that be? Even the spouses, they even fight. No, we are not spouses. We are not, you know, something like that. I understand. But there is one entity that unites all of us, regardless if we are not spouse. Okay? Even if, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, even if, if sweethearts, they, they disagree and they, you know, fight, even quarrel, only the Holy Spirit can unite us. If we humble ourselves, we are not alone. I always have this whenever I have a, a counseling between spouses. And I ask the couple many times, how many of us here? And the couple will say, if you are the couple, how would you answer? For example, I asked Brother Budi and uh, Sister Rose, and uh, you come with me for counseling. Sister Rose and Brother Budi, how many of us? And you will answer. How what will you answer? Pastor. Yes. If two of you are counseling with me, and how many of us? Four. Four? Why four? You, Rose, and me. How many? And God. Okay, but how many of God? How many of them? Three. Three. And now how many now? Six. Can you imagine if I'm not there, only two of you, you are outnumbered. Correct? Because Buddhi, Rose, God the Son, God the Father, God the Holy Spirit, there are five of you and you are outnumbered. It means if it is majority rule, you will listen to the three of them. Correct? That is the secret in the church. All right? If every elder, every member would just listen that there are three there in your marriage life, in your church, there is more than actually we submit, we become stronger. So that is the idea there. It is the one that gives us unity so that the whole body of Christ will not suffer. Now, I will not mention more on that because we know that one. Not everyone is gifted. Some have tongues. Some are good in singing. You know, as we know, uh, I don't need to read that one. You can read it. But this is the most important gift that we need to have. Even if you're not gifted in singing, not gifted in, in preaching, we should have this gift. And this is a must for everyone. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. Okay? It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil. Okay? But rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. If you lose love in the church, you lose confidence in each one among each other, that is thus losing love, then problems will come. But if you have love in the church, love to each other as brothers and sisters, and love for those who are perishing, then wonderful things will happen. Because 1 Corinthians 13 says, love never fails. It will never fail us in our evangelism. Where there are prophecies, they will cease. It means those talents that we have, those gifts that we have, they are just used only to a certain extent only. Where there are tongues, they will be instilled. Where there is knowledge, that one, we are very good, you know, we have all this good Bible, you know, memorizing. They can just be used to some extent only. 
And we know in part, we prophesy in part, but when perfection comes, that is by love, the idea there, the imperfect disappears. The imperfect means those talents that we have, that we do. When I was a child, Paul was saying, I talk like a child, I, I thought like a child, I reason like a child. What he was saying in here, when I became a man, he became mature in his, in his uh, Christian life by having more love, that is in the context, I pull childish ways, okay? When we see, but the poor reflection, I mean, now as we see a poor reflection as in the mirror, then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part that I shall know fully and I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. In, in other words, of all the things that we possess, love should be the highest. Talent, ah, it's okay, but that is just temporary. Other things, nah. But if we have love, I tell you, even joy will have a lot of sotors. <clears throat> Sorry, not only lovely, and uh, it's the other one. Okay? So what I mean, sotors for Christ. Don't worry about that. Bring them to the church. The brother Buddy and I will give Bible study and, and, and brother, and brother uh, Hill. If there are some sotors, bring them. Oh, yes, come, come, come to church. Introduce to the elder. And then we will give them Bible study. Wait, wait, before I answer you, lovely, you tell it. Before I answer you, you join our care group first. And before I answer you with a second yes, a second yes, na ba? Wait, 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 you go baptize first. Uh huh. That is the one. You use your singleness as a way to gain, you know, into their heart that they will be. We call it courtship evangelism. Why not? Right? Courtship evangelism singleness actually everything that we have can be used the church manual says everything that we do is evangelistic in nature if you have the beauty use your beauty you will the evangelism why not if you have knowledge then you can use your knowledge there are many ways of doing evangelism if we really find ways let's go back to the slide i'm about to finish here mahatma gandhi says i don't know if it is correct this has been quoted many times i like your christ Okay, it, the idea here is why love is important in witnessing. If you do not have love, the one that I preached before, it starts with love. You cannot witness. I like your Christ. I do not like your Christians. Your Christians are so unlike your Christ. It means in actual practice, many Christians do not act like Christ lovingly. If all Christians acted like Christ, the whole world would be a Christian. According to Mahatma Gandhi, I don't know if it is correct. All right. So if we do that one and be loving, and I think it is not really hard to, to do evangelism. Okay. So in here, Isaiah 60 verse 1. Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. Brothers and sisters, let us love the world for Christ. Can we do? Can we do? Right. I like, I like to see your hands. Can we love the world for Christ? Can we love your neighbors for Christ? But before we love our neighbors, we love our family first. And when we love our family, it means we love our brothers and sisters first. I told my wife, darling, honey, baby, how do you call? Uh, uh, I might be in trouble now. I have a lot of names now. I'm not darling. I'm not honey. Ah, uh, babe. Uh, she's smiling. I told her many times. Babe, now because my kids are also copying, when I say babe, they will also, they will also call her babe. I call her now mommy, okay? Mommy, it means babe. If you feel fighting with me, please do not just hug me, all right? If you feel like disagreeing with me, no, 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 no. The more we feel like fighting, no, no, the more we hug each other. I mean, the more we hug each other, the devil doesn't have time to get in between, correct? The same in the church. If you feel like fighting in the church, come closer as a church member and the devil will not have any chance. And when the devil does not have any chance and because we are very close as members, then we can love each other and we can love other people and then the church will grow. Usually a church which does not grow is because the church members are fighting. No love, correct? That is very, very correct. There's no love. People will see in us. The first time you invite them, they will not come for the second time. Why? 
they will see in our actions, they will see in our eyes, it is glowing with love or glowing with hatred. They will see in all our gestures in the church, that church is loving. So that is very, very important if we really want to grow. And so, wait, wait, I didn't see your hands. Let us love the word for Christ. Can we? Very good. Very good. Now, another one. Let's finish. Paratang grade one, grade six. Uh, mm, section 11. Ito. Don't worry. Let us reach the world for Christ. Total member involvement, total church involvement, total pastor, elder, deacon, officers involvement, total care group involvement. And then when we do that, we are shining. Okay? And I believe my part is done. If you have any questions, I would appreciate that. That is in general term. More specific will be done later on. You think we can do? What do you think? You think we can do this in Angtong? Okay. Next time, I will, I will teach you how to do specific team calling. All right, team calling, really team calling. It should be done every, it should be done every Sabbath afternoon, team calling for Wednesday care group. And again, another team calling for, for Friday meeting and Sabbath. You only have two team callings a week, it's okay. Team calling, we, we do a care group. Whole, uh, sorry? Yes. Messenger, uh, Vesper and we can do, we can plan. That's why in the afternoon, right? That this one we can plan after this. AY we can plan as a church. And then uh, we can show to other people how I plan with them. It might be the same, it might be different. Okay, I just finished my case right now. If you don't have any questions, I'll give it to the AY leader. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Sapag Padasig, Anton members. So I hope everyone, we, we got a lot of wisdom and we will, we will give value to our mission in this place. So the next part, um, wait. So next will be Goyo Kids will give a song to us. Yeah. Who is win? Good afternoon. We're going to offer a song of praise. I'm trying to choose him again. Satan tried to destroy us forever, but nothing could keep us from choosing Jesus from me. For we love the plans of God. Listen to our song. Before we came here, we're all in heaven with 
Heavenly Father. Before we came, as we were standing to be prepared for the battle to come. For Satan tried to destroy us forever, to make us turn from the things we were taught. Nothing could keep us from choosing Jesus, for we love the plan of God, and we will choose Him again, for He's our Savior and friend. He'll help and guide us each day. And he will show us the way to be the best us we possibly can. Oh, we will choose him. We will choose him again. And now we're honored to prove we'll be faithful. Keep his commandments and follow his ways. For we are still fighting for good over evil. Not with a sword, but with courage and faith. And we will rise up and stand with our Savior. Forever true to the things we have taught. And nothing can keep us from choosing Jesus. For we love the plan of God. And we will choose Him again. For He's our Savior and friend. He'll help and guide us each day, and He will show us the way to be the best us we possibly can. Oh, we will choose Him. We will choose Him again. We will choose Him Amen. 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 So next will be the personal testimony of Sister Cherry Ann. Nag request again siya ng mahatag sa testimony. One hour ko na yan ni Mama Konsyom. Sister Ann. P.O. P.N. Feeling. Feeling. Feeling ka na? Gira ka sa kong pag-story yan. Gira ka. Oy, joke na itong one hour, oy. Happy na two hours? Mga two hours, guro. Okay lang. Okay, good, ha? Joke. So, thank you so much, kids, for the nice song. Choose him again. So, my part for this evening. So, my part for today is uh, I will be sharing my testimony. Testimony lang, testimony. Thanks. Okay. So, before that, I will be reading ma. I will be reading Hebrews 13, verse 5. It says, Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. Because God has said, Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. Amen? Amen. 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 For that verse alone, we can 
um, why we wear uh, why we wear it? why we worry because in uh, it's a promise that he will never leave us nor forsake us so akong experience is in ani nagsugod ni siya sa okay na magbisaya okay kayo okay kayo ma'am <laughs> Tagalog so, niya si Ate Angie. Ah, kailangan talaga mag Tagalog. Tagalog daw, Tagalog channel. Okay. Translator, please. Okay, please. Okay. Um, di ba? Eh, di ba? Yung ano, so, yun nga. Um, dahil sa ano, so, yun, yung, um, yung struggle namin is, um, um, Well, sa, sa hindi na kaalam, hindi po kami na renew sa school. <laughs> Kasi ayaw na nila sa amin. So yun, <laughs> naghanap <laughs> kami. <laughs> uh, nag, nag, uh, sabi natin, Joy, they need a foreigner. Yung puti. So, we we decided na maghanap ng school. And then, actually, we, ano, parang buhis-buhay ba? Kasi, alam mo yun, video your own self. And then, pas to ano ipapasa sa kahit anong school introducing yourself or you have to do a small video or a presentation and how you're going to teach like that but ginawa namin yun parang buhis buhay siya okay lang parang yambak no but um and then we we go to Ayutaya kasi may friend kami na nag ano nag need daw yun umalis siya may isang umalis then tapos dalawa kami kasi so dalawa kami ng ni Ate Arm so yun nag apply kami doon and then yung okay. head ng parent sabi niya you have to do a demonstration teaching demonstration for one hour sabi niya because i will just choose one sabi niya so yun If you really interested in this position, so you may go back tomorrow. So yon, bumalik kami, kasi nga simple interested do. Tapos yon, nag ano kami na demo kami. Sabi niya you will know the result by next week. So, but before that, simple hindi kami nagano don. So naghanap pa kami ng another school, and then we decided to go to Singapore. Pinawagan kasi namin sa Tilabon. So we go there by Monday at ayon. Tapos um, but before that um, marami yung school yung na ano namin na apply namin. Sabi namin the first school that we're going to call call us well, ah uh, yun yung pipili namin siya mapili de ba? <laughs> Tapos yon and and then God for this is yung pababa na kami ng van going to Singapore kasi susundin kami ng asang husband ni Ate Lavon. Then, may tumawag sa akin, may tumawag din kay Ate Arm, sabay kami. So, sabi niya, hello, this is um, Prato Chai School, and then, if you're still willing to come in our school, can you come today? Sabi niya. Tapos, dalawa kami yung ano, kasi, dalawa kami yung tinawagan. Tapos, sabi kasi nung ano, kaya kami pinademo, kasi isa lang yung need nila. So, praise God, kasi, Dalawa kami yung tinawagan. Sabi nila, you can come today and then sign the contract. So, so alam mo yun, yung, yung nag-pray ka, tapos God will really intervene. Kasi nga, hindi kami naka, hindi pa kami pinapunta dun sa school nila at ilagpon para mag, ano yun? Para mag, interview. para mag-interview. So, hindi kami nakaabot dun. So, kaya yun, sa Singburi, sa Singburi yun, so kaya, Pumunta na kami. Bumalik kami ng Ayutaya. So instead nga na mag mag interview kami doon sa Singburi, hindi na lang namin yun minute yung director so ay director ba yun? Mm-hmm. Director so we go directly to Pratrichai School. And then yung struggle namin is for how many months we don't have any salary so we stayed Um, kay Ate Joy, nagpabuhay. So, yun, but there's, you know, alam niyo yun, there's a lot of people na nagsisend din sa amin ng, ano yun? God, Blessing. God, God allows them. God allows those people to help us. Yeah. yeah. Financially, at saka sa food. And, you know, 
hindi mo pa na pray pero binigyan na ni God. So, ah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So, yun, um, it's, um, alam mo yun, marami akong na-realize. <laughs> Nahihiyak ako. So, very emotional. So, that's why I really thank God kasi, alam mo yun, nag-prepare na talaga siya. And then, um, then yung one time na sabi ni ate, parang hindi man kayo sure dyan sa school niyo yung sa prototype, but we already signed the contract. And then she said na, yung school namin nagahanap apat na teacher so you can apply there. But I said na, I already asked God and prayed for yes. ano da? For the, uh, for the school and then binigyan niya sa amin yung prototype. So, ayoko, ano yun? <coughs> so, I don't want to ayoko paunahan yung paunahan yung plan ni God. So, I just decided na um, no tea, this up. We prayed for it. Yeah, yeah, we prayed already for the school and then God gave us the Pratuchai school. So, ayoko nang mag, ano, mag, mag, ano ba yan? Mag, mag punta din sa ibang school. So, you know, God really, um, alam nyo, may mga plan na talaga siya sa atin na sometimes, um, really taasagod. You cannot understand, but He really cares for us. We just, um, pray, tapos maraming tao na willing to um, um, willing to help us and God use them for us to survive. To survive. Yes, that's it. And then, marami akong na-realize na, kar- na ngayong COVID, just pray and do your best and God will do the rest. Have faith. Have faith in Him. Yung faith na yon, wag mo pangunahan because it really prepared the way for you. Yun lang po. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. One hour na. One hour na yun. Hi. Two hours. Two hours. Wow. Galing. Okay, praise pero God. praise God. Praise God, Sister Anne. Sabi ko na. Sabi ko na. Sabi ko na. Sabi ko touching. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I would like also to extend my thanks for um for Angtong Care Group and for Ati Joy. <laughs> of course, and for everyone of you. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> love you all. Love you. Thank <laughs> you okay, for. Next part of the hour. Next part of the hour. Next part of the hour. Singing. Singing. Add to ta sa langit. After this song, uh, we will be hearing a testimony ba from Sister Ruth Joy. After this song. So you can sing with us. We will go to heaven. Amen. Together. Kini kalimutan ini ang atong puloy anak kay ang pusa kayo malabay lamang ang atong puloy anak puasala ni sa atong Diyos gianda kung suon mo sa imo ikaw minihan tinhi sa iyo tanga Diyos kasalana puno sa pagubot o kapag Ik zo 
Sabat, uh, thank you so much sa AY department. So, ingon ni Lovely, um, huwag daw ni siya ang makita kung bugas-bugas. Kaya no, klaro kayo. So, nagpasagot ni siya sa resulta sa pang mga stress, anxiety, and depression. <laughs> um, okay, so I, I suppose to be din ako siya gusto i-share kay I don't like to share also, pero si Annie ingan siya nga, isulti na ti kay, pasalamat na sa ginoo. So, I would like to share this this time. Um, actually, it's been like years that I am struggling for my myself and also I, I'm having, well, this COVID-19, I am, um, have some time to read books, especially Uh, especially this book na man nagihatag man sa church, yes, diba? The Power of Hope Overcoming Depression, Anxiety, Guilt, and Stress. So, um, I read this book because of um, inside, 
uh, although you can see me sometimes like smiling, but um, deep inside, I am having some of this, um, <laughs> some of this, um, ano, and so, especially this this time, this time of um, COVID-19, I have a lot of anxiety, but in my life, dalit na ko mas stress actually, but then I, uh, gamay lang nga problema, dalit na ko mas stress. I don't know nga, but you know, in any jut ko, dalit na jut ko mas stress, and then to mas stress ko, ma-affect, ma-affect ko na ako ang moods, nga dalit na po ko malago, dalit na ko ma- Hay, dali hay blood roll or dali na kumano sa ko ang temper. So, it could be in our family problem na ay maabot sa ko ang mga news and then sa ka na dito ako makaya gisulti, galumloom na ko sa kalag. Siguro, ito na ko, inani, mayan, away. So, ma-affected ako. Dali ako siya ma-problema. And then, it's been, I have also struggled emotionally and I just kept it. But then, it sometimes... Kung isa tong mga tao nga man ako, kung magdaan ako, ma-burst na ako siya ba sa uban. So, I'm struggling really. But then this time of COVID-19, na-dungagan na siya. Tungod kay, um, I really wanted also to go home. But then, ang mga plans, another plans failed. Many plans failed in my life. So, siguro nagka-piled up, nag -mayo. And then, um, I really don't know. I don't sometimes. I don't sometimes understand myself. And um, one of one of the thing that I could just maka, maka help sa kuwa. That's why I am trying to involve um, in groups. So spiritually groups nga makatabang because as um, I think I have already shared this. Some members nakabalo na I am a in my childhood, I experienced like I'm so, so, suicidal. So I've been uh, attempting like twice in my life before, elementary and high school. And then this during this COVID-19, um, I na ako mga worries and problems. And some of my family have also problems financially because they are affected also of their work. And some of them are asking, of course, because mostly kay ako na may wala namin yun, so they will ask for help from me. So, and then, and now most of the plans failed as well, so na, na depressed tintahay ko, and then na depressed ko because when I read this one, uh, most of the symptoms na experience na ko siya for, um, I will just share this partly for Nagsugod ang na migipad to sa school, di ba? Kaya ano, it's middle of March, right? And then that's why I'm asking Anne and Arne because sila akong housemate diri. Um, kung kung nga mag-join ta sa 100 days uh, prayer, kaning atong March 27 nag-start because I really, we need to, we need to pray together. So, I asked them to, uh, Let's cooperate for this 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 us uh, praying. Although in our house we have some, um, we cannot really. Manang malikayan nga, mawikta emotionally, mawikta um, spiritually. So, but this is only one thing nga makatabang sa ako kung madown ko nga magmore ko o kanang magpray. So. Um, I told them as well now we will pray together and join for 100 days of prayer. And then um, every time the struggle should go nga matulog di ko katulog um ala stress hindi ako makatulog 3 a.m. Uh, hanggang 3 a.m. di rin para ako makatulog mga pinaka late 3 a.m. 12 Oh, I, do, I want to sleep. A lot of things bothering me. Uh, I will not mention them to you one by one. Because <laughs> I can share lahat ng problem. Ko. But then, um, so, so we just really, uh, they also include me always in my prayer because my health was also affected. And, and because of that, also maybe a panic attack, panic attack, to me, I, I went to the bank to send money to the Philippines for my family. And then one time, young worker sa bank, nag-cough uh, siya. She is coughing. And then when I went home, 
Um, nag-tax na rin ako. So sabi ko, ano nang, baka nag-worry din ako, too much worried, and then and, nagdagdag na lahat na yung ano ko, nung mga problem ko. And then, that starts na hindi ako makahinga. I have a problem with breathing. Sabi ni, na, nilang lovely na ano lang yan. Kanang, naglisod ko yung ginhawa and then, uh, so my friend also called me. She is my best friend in chi- in during elementary and then she asked me, uh, what's my situation? And then most of the time she called me and then I told her that um, I have a problem with my breathing and sleeping and maybe I worried. So yeah, it's a panic attack maybe. And then you need to, I cannot sleep. So I just sit sitting down there sleeping well and I just sit like this and then I cannot breathe well as well. So this is my struggle. But praise be to God that for like May, okay, okay na ko. May, the month of May, I'm getting better and better, month of May. And so I just, during the day, parang okay lang and then I cannot concentrate. The school asked me to do the lesson plans. Um and many things that to do because they asked, okay, um, are you going to continue at school? Are you, are, or are you, um, teacher Joy, I hear that you are planning to look for somewhere, another school, but if you will stay here, we will give you the salary. So in that, I stayed at school. I told them, I, yes, I will stay. And so, but you need to comply these things. You need to do the um, lesson plans for the next semester. Second <laughs> So, but then I wasn't able to comply it. Hindi ko talaga siya nagawa. Hindi ako makafocus. And then one thing is that um, maybe wala talaga akong focus that time and super, sobrang ano, sobrang stress pa rin ng buhay. But then thank God that through prayer and I really prayed hard and in the morning, um, paggising ko minsan, Nagapunta ako sa third floor and then facing to the sky and I I really asked God for help. Lord, heal me. I cannot really do this. Please heal me. And then heal also my um temperance because dali ra ko malagot nila usahay um nag na more na more ko nga makuan kuy pagkuan da mo so but i thank god that they understand my situation sa anani arte mo sabot and then so i really thank god for them despite na sometimes even myself i can't understand but i thank god maybe because it's affected because of also my health problem inside Water. I am really, I'm really struggling, but still I show, still I show care to others who are still in need and who also needs help. But that's also my way of like praising God. And I told Arn, Arn, um, if whatever happens, please send all my things to my family. <laughs> Because I knows my family because she lives in my aunt where I grow up. Uh, don't sa seventy Adventist ko na family because in that family I just it feel the care from them. So, Eka, please um, send my my things to my family ha. May paginanati uy ko ano? So, so that's my um, struggle. That but I always prayed to God. I still ask. God for strength and healing. So um, I thank God for um, later on in our joining the 100 days of prayer and Thailand prayer call. Um, it really helps me. And um, also I can see God's wonderful works. And um, now still I'm recovering as I Actually, I'm still fighting for some of my problem, but I can see that God is working. I can sleep. I can sleep um, better than before. And although sometimes I can wake up like 12 or 1, 
but now it's getting better. So I think I really thank God and I praise to that and I claim this promise in in the book of um, I will give you this text. Um, Exodus fifteen twenty six. It says, "I am the Lord who heals you." So this is the one that I I ask God that um, He will heal me continually of my um, problems in physical, in emotional, in spiritual, in in every aspect of my life. And please continue also to pray. Let's pray one another. That's all. Amen. 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 Thank you, Thank you to Joy, to share. So I hope mababawasan na yung ano kasi nakashare ka na at least ba, <laughs> di ba pag nalabas na oh, na pag malabas na medyo mabawas bawasan na. So let's pray each other. Uh, for okay, the next our program is okay. It's closing remark by our elder the test. Is teacher is teacher is <laughs> Oh. Happy Sabbath once again. Wah, happy Sabbath once again. Sabbath. Happy Sabbath sa inyong tanan. Happy. Good. Happy. Happy. So, salamat sa panahon. So, pasalamat ta kay unas tanan. Pasalamat ta sa ginoo. Pasalamat po tayo sa Panginoon na nagkataon po tayo na may so worship. So worship at saka Kay Pastor, sa kasanayang pamilya, Pastor, salamat sa mga message from Sabat School at sa kasa ano, iway natin. Salamat at sa kasa ating iway department, sa ating Sabat School department, salamat sa hat sa ating Divine Service. Salamat na sana um, apply natin lahat ang lahat ng sinasabi ni Pastor from morning to afternoon. So, salamat Pastor. So, and welcome sa siguro panahon, binigyan tayo ng panganahon ng ating iwe leader na makapagsalita at bilang ano, closing remark. So, salamat Pastor at saka welcome sa us district. So, taos puso po kami na welcome sa iyo. Uh, Heart to heart, saka uh, masahan natin at sa amin naman ay yung support tayo. So salamat at saka sa team ang tong, salamat din sa yung unity. Kasi sa pandemic na to ay hindi biro yung challenge na inaharap natin. Pero nakita natin yung unity na nakatulong tayo sa, sa loob ng sa simbahan giving ministry at saka sa kasalabas sa simbahan saka napakalaking tulong din ang ano napakalaking tulong din tong itong pandemic dahil nakilala natin ang mga marami pala mga Pinoy na andito sa ano lang natin gilid-gilid mga non-SDA so ang Angtong Church uh, naging instrumento sa pagtulong sa pamagitan ng tulong din galing sa iba't ibang agency. So, nakilala natin sila. So, doon, inaamo natin. So, sa message ni Pastor sa hapon, so, challenge siya na yung natulungan ng mga non-SDA. So, wag lang natin bigla ibiglain Pastor dahil sa, kumbaga, sa Europa na o hapon sa nato na gay mga bago pa man. So, pero napakalaking tulong dahil Uh, Diyan sila sa pamagitan ng tulong ni Joy na search natin na kasi si Joy ang communication ano natin, director. So na search natin na marami palang Pinoy dito sa WhatsApp yung at saka sa Angtong. So ang Angtong search, salamat na naging instrumento din tayo na nakatulong sa kanila sa pamagitan ng iba't ibang agency o hensya 
na ipinagkatiwala sa angkong church. So, that's the time na naging instrumento. So, malaking tulong yan sa atin dahil pinagkatiwalaan ang angkong church sa mga biyaya na galing sa bangkok pamagitan kay Buyit din, Mr. and Mrs. Ictin. So, salamat. So, dinadahan-dahan. May mga plastic na tayo, pero kailangan lang natin na dahan-dahan talaga kahit ikilalanin muna natin dahil hindi naman yan diro. Uh, kailangan kaibiganin mo muna. Kumbaga, mapalapit sa puso natin dahil hindi yan basta-basta. So, salamat sa lahat, sa Team Angtong at sa kayong mga message ni Pastor about Unity. It is true, Pastor. So, salamat talaga. Marami pa tayo pero walang tayong oras. So, ito na panahon. We are excited sana na magka-meet na personally sa apat na buwan. Ha? Pero hindi rin nagkatuloy dahil sa kulang tayo sa tinatawang thermal scanner. But all things work together for good. Romans 8.32 So, may ano pa rin paraan. So, salamat pastor sa panahon na binigay mo sa Zoom from Sabbath School at saka sa EY. Salamat sa mensahe. So, once again, happy Sabbath at saka salamat din sa ating EY leader. So, amen. 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 So, we will have our closing song. Thank you for all the participants and yeah. for the sharings and inspirations. <laughs> we will now have our closing song which is entitled We Will Serve the Lord. I'm requesting everyone to sing. Yes. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this holy Sabbath day that we praise your name, glorify, and thank you for the blessings, the spiritual blessings that we heard from Pastor on Sabbath school. 
to the Department of Service until this afternoon, the AY. And great appointment, great uh, work to be done. We have to which one, each one. So the gospel, we involve in the inner gospel so that the end will come and be a part in your kingdom, the heavenly. And Lord, thank you sa mga participants na inahimo nila ang angay sa imong kabubuton, ang gugma, kalipay, mga padayon, kanang tanah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you sa lahat na participate. Pastor Oli, thank you po. Thank you, Pastor Oli and family. Enjoy keep fighting. Yeah, thank you too. Okay, and thank you at the chest. Kuya Budi. Salamat sa tanan. Happy Sabbath. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh. Wait, wait, when do we have a church board meeting? No. Because next Sabbath, I will not be with you. Supposedly, this is our church board meeting. This no. no, we can...